Hi there, this is Isaac from X equals zero and today I'm going to show you how I built my anti-vibration drum riser. So, I recently bought an electronic drum kit. The kit is the Millennium MPS 850 and I got it from Thorn. Link in the description. The drums are relatively silent because all pads are mesh head pads type, but still some vibration transfers to the floor. It's especially bad with the kick and hi-hat pedals. This is a second floor apartment so that could get me in some trouble with the neighbors. To make it worse, the floor is made of wood and it has a camera underneath it. This type of construction can act as an amplifier. Think of the resonant properties of a classical guitar body. So, to be honest, my case is quite the extreme one. So, I decided to build a drum riser to keep it as quiet as possible and reduce the vibrations to a minimum. There are kind of few constructions for this. The type I use is the tennis ball one. There are plenty of videos on YouTube about how to build one, so I don't know, it looked effective enough and pretty straightforward, so I went for it. And I want to share with you how I built mine. I took pictures of the whole process and I will add the comments of every stage of the build. Before anything else, assemble your kit if you haven't done so yet. Because we need to know what's the size of the platform that we are going to be using. I wanted mine to include the throne. Some people just build the thing for the drum kit. I built mine so I will be sitting also on the platform. I think it's better to be leveled with the drum kit. But again, that's preference. To do this, I just put some tape around the kit on the floor, leaving some space around it. So. I don't know, I might be using that in the future. My needed platform turned out to be 150 by 120 centimeters. Then I just could go and start planning how I'm going to build the thing, how to design, how many layers, where to put the balls, etc. I decided to have it in four pieces. This way it will be better just to move around and handle in general. It's easier to work with and it's easier also to move around. Just in case I want to place it somewhere else or I don't know, move to another flat. For example, I made an initial drawing with the position of the balls and construction in general. And good to go! That done, we can start looking at the materials. People usually use for these uh, plywood, solid wood, MDF. You could virtually use anything strong enough for the job. I chose MDF as the platform material. MDF is a very nice and robust material, widely available in different sizes. It's sturdy, easy to clean and easy to work with. Also, the supplier will send it to me, caught to my specs, which is very, very helpful. The platform will have to sustain both my and my kit weights. That's around 100 kg. In many videos, people use thinner MDF sheets. I went with the 15 mm ones. I wanted to make it as sturdy as possible and reduce unnecessary extra bouncing and deformation. It makes it heavier though. The cost of the MDF sheet was 120 euro. Then we need the tennis balls. I ended up using 52. I got this from Amazon for 56 euro. Link down below. I used zip ties to keep the bottom and top parts of the platform together. I bought this 100 pieces pack for 6 euro at the local hardware store. I bought also some foam puzzle mats. I use them at the bottom and the top of the platform for extra dampening. I put two layers at the bottom and one on the top. The foam mats are 60 by 60 centimeters squares, one centimeter thick. I think the two centimeter thick ones would be better, but they were way way more expensive to get. So I paid for the mats 18 pieces, 72 euro. Also Amazon, <laughs> link below. I also bought some anti-vibration pads for extra extra dampening. They are used under washing machines and the like. I paid 49 euro for 20 pieces, also Amazon. I'll put a link to them too. I used also this double-sided tape. It made my life way easier and it keeps holding the mats together. It might not be necessary, but do it. <laughs> And as far as materials go, that's it. As for the tools needed, I used a power drill for drilling the holes for the tennis balls and the zip ties. And this is the only power tool I used. You'll need a couple of drill bits. This is a regular bit for the zip ties. And this one is a circular bit, very useful for the tennis balls. 
it's 44 millimeter. I used four small clamps like this one for keeping the sheets together while drilling. And you want to do this because it takes forever. Forever, ever, ever. This way you'll get a perfect match between top and bottom. I used also other stuff like pencils, scissors and rulers. And Important, use a face mask because the MDF smokes a lot while drilling and the fumes, apart from being very nasty and smelly, could be harmful. Also have a vacuum cleaner around because drilling the, the MDF makes a lot of dust. And that's all of it. So here's how I did it. Well, the job's done. Does it work? Absolutely. It dampens the vibration a lot? Yes. The effect is very, very noticeable. I went downstairs while someone else was playing the drum kit and I could still hear some little thump coming from the kick, I guess, but very, very little. You would barely notice it if the TV was on and that's you being just underneath it. As I said at the beginning of the video, the construction of my 
floor is the worst case scenario. So this is an awesome result really. I'm absolutely certain this would be an ultra quiet platform on a solid floor. The noise reduction is huge so yeah again the noise reduction is huge and i'm pretty sure it will work wonders on a solid concrete floor so yeah go for it i saw in many other youtube videos that this kind of platform works very well and now i saw it for myself the total cost for this build is just 220 euro very very much cheaper than buy it made by someone else which is usually around 1000 euro also diy projects are always fun also also the accomplishment of making something by one so it's always regarding and satisfying also 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 saving some euros is always nice so yeah that's all from me i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions advice anything please leave a comment let's help each other if you like the video please like and subscribe it'll help me a lot also if you use the links provided you will be helping in supporting this channel also also check my music either the discovery list on youtube or spotify if you like it you can buy it from all major stores i'll drop links to spotify facebook instagram all of them again thanks for your time isaac out Blah, <laughs> blah,